My name is who? My name is right bro. <laughs> okay, action. Hi guys, my name is Brooke Carrero. I am 21 years old. I am currently living in Tampa, Florida. I am a makeup artist in the Tampa Bay area. I travel to you on your wedding days. I do weddings, proms, anything like that. I am doing this look that you guys see today. It is a recreated look from James Charles and I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette. She's also part of this as well. Her palette is also so amazing. I love it so much. I use it on all of my clients. And I use it all the time. So obviously this is like a more dramatic look. I've never done something like this. But I wanted to make this like the first video that you guys see. So you guys could see what you're working with here. So it's really nice. And if you guys like this look. Then stay tuned and watch me recreate it. So to start this look. I am going to go in with my pomade. I always start with my eyebrows first in any tutorial. Which is the Dip Brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it is in the shade Chocolate is what I use all the time. When you go in here you don't want to like forcefully just dab yourself in there. You just want to lightly give it a couple little taps some strokes. And then the brush that I'm using for this is uh, Real Techniques. A uh, slanted brow brush and it looks just like this. It's purple. You get it from any drugstore, Target, whatever. Walmart. I almost said Hollister. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We'll bleep that. Now I'm using the angled brush and I'm making light strokes all the way to the end of my eyebrow. And now I'm just filling them in everywhere that I want them to be filled where I don't have hair. And I'm making a shape at the top. And at the bottom and it's going to be darker on the tail end of the eyebrow and lighter towards the front because it's kind of going to be like an ombre effect which is always what you want nothing too harsh now i'm going to conceal my eyebrows and you can use any type of concealer for this i use the tarte shape tape and light medium which is the shade that i use now we're going to use the M224 brush, which is by Morphe, and literally all my brushes are by Morphe, okay? And it's a tapered concealer brush. It's a standard concealer brush. And so I'm going to dab some of that in my concealer that I put on my hand. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to conceal the eyebrows. I usually use my finger like this, any finger, to really kind of just lift it up to give me like a more sharper concealer. Now we are going to go in with the actual eye look, but first I'm going to prime thy lids with Holy Grail, which is the Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC. It looks just like this. It comes in a package, kind of like a concealer packaging, how it would come in, but it literally looks like this, and it's super cute. And so now I'm going to put this all over my eyelids with my um, finger, you know, not being any professional right here, so you just can... However much you want, just keep going. Okay, so, and now you're going to put it on the eyelids with your finger, but you know if you're like, if you want a brush, you can use a concealer brush, whatever you want, but I'm going to use my finger. So, now I'm just going to kind of dab that on there. So after I prime the lids, I'm going to set it with my... Our CMA powder which literally looks like something you can get out of your kitchen cabinet it's the best setting powder and this is the no color powder instead of the translucent powder and you have to get it on rcma.com and they have so much good makeup there and this is like the best product ever and I've had this for my clients and myself and it's lasted me over a year and a half so it's just really great and I'm going to use the same brush that I just used before to buff out my eyebrow concealer it's the M334 by Morphe and kind of just dab a little bit of that on there, tap off the excess, and then just set my eyebrows, or my eyebrows, my eyelids. I'm very sorry. It's my first YouTube video. <laughs> now that I am all set, I am ready to work some magic on them lids. So here we go. Alright, first I'm going to go in with my most favorite blending brush ever by Morphe, of course. And it is the Morphe M441 brush, and it looks just like this. It's a very poofy, kind of bigger blending brush, and it's literally just so amazing. So, I'm going to use, of course, the um, Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe, which is my favorite. And she's my favorite. I love her, and she lives in Tampa, and so do I. So, what's up, girl? 
We could probably hang out one day, but you know, it's okay. You'll probably never see this. Hopefully you do. But, anyways. So, this palette is pigmented. <laughs> Just to let you guys know. So, I'm pretty sure everybody knows that by now. But, the first color that I'm going to be going in with is Creamsicle. And it is literally the best. And it is this color right here. Which is like the most yellowish color in the palette. So, I'm going to dab that on my brush. And you want to make sure you tap off the excess. You don't ever want to blow on it because that blows off too much product or takes off too much product. You always just want to dab it in and tap. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow. I'm going to start blending. Okay, so I'm going to use creamsicle and put that into my crease. All. So all I'm doing here is just blending out the color creamsicle all over my crease. And I want to blend this up a little bit higher as well because this is going to be the transition shade. So, as you can see, I'm just blending, 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 so you can't blend no more, and I'm making it a lot darker as I go on because I want this to be super pigmented and super noticeable. The next color that I'm going in with is the color Hunts, which is right here in the palette. One of my favorite shades in the palette, that's for sure. So, I'm going to put it on my brush, tap off the excess using my finger, and now we go and blend. Put Hunts in the crease just like the creamsicle color but it's going to be a little bit down more not all the way up and up here it's just going to go slightly in the center to deepen the crease and to give it more definition it's going to look like a sunset up in here I'm going to use the same brush, which is the M330, and I'm going to use the color Jax, which is right underneath Hunts, and I'm going to dab it in there as well. Tap the axis off, and here we go. I'm going to put Jax in the crease as well, and this is just going to darken it up to prepare it for the next color we're going to use. So now I'm going in with the color Royalty, which is the purple shade in her palette, it's the shimmer. And it's that one right there, and it's so beautiful. And I'm going to use that to darken the crease even more, and then it's going to go from like a blue to a purple to a red to a yellow. It's going to look so nice. And I'm using the Morphe E36 brush, which is a very small, defined blending brush, and it's really nice. Now I'm going to be going in with the, my favorite color in this whole entire palette, which is Twerk. And it's this gorgeous blue shade right here. And I'm going to put this all over my lid. And the brush that I'm using for this is the M333. And it looks like this. It's kind of just a brush where you can put a lid color on because it's so flat and dense. Okay, here we go. So now I'm going to start packing this color on my eyelid. You want to start down low. You don't want to start up top. Girl, don't start up top. Because once you blend that blue with all those colors, it's not, it's not going to work. going to work. Sorry. Excuse me. The palette is pigmented, but to make any look more pigmented and to make the color stand out, I'm going to spray some Fix Plus on my brush and spray it on my brush. Now, since I sprayed it, it's a lot more pigmented and this technique works so nicely. So I'm just going to keep working my way up. the color pool party which is this pretty little spritz color right here um on the center of the lid to make the blue pop more so with that i'm going to use my trusty dusty finger right here so now i'm going to put some of that on it now i'm going to use this finger and just pop this pool party right here on the center of the lid it just makes the, the look look that much better 
Yeah. <laughs> look at it. This is literally my favorite look of all time. And I don't ever wear crazy colors like this, but this it just speaks to me on a different level. On a whole new level. Ah, oh, so nice. So nice. Okay, now that I have this eye done, I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I will be back. Now that I applied my falsies, I'm going to use the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. And it's literally the best mascara from the drugstore I've ever used. It's kind of like the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. But this one's only 9 bucks, And then the Better Than Sex is 20 So, I'm going to get the $9 mascara. But it's the same crap with Bob Boom. They're super nice. Tyra Banks, where you at? And don't ever forget, the eyes are the nipples of the face. The whole focal point. That's from the house, buddy. Favorite movie ever! Movie ever! Whatever. Okay. Now we're going to go on with the face. We're going to beat this shit up. Sorry, I'm not allowed to curse. Beat this face up. Now I'm going to go in with the... No pore bloom primer. This this stuff is amazing. I think it's like 20 bucks at Sephora and it's literally the best primer ever. And you know, you're gonna rub it on your biggest pore bloom areas, which right here that's for me. So I got some pretty big pore blooms right here. L Lily! Come here! Come to say hi. Say hi to everyone. Little little girl. Hello! Say hi! <laughs> this is Lily. She's so cute. Mm, mm. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, now that this is done, now I'm going to go in with um this foundation, which is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. It looks just like this. You can get this from any drugstore. Target, Walmart, Walgreens, whatever drugstore of your choice. Just go out and get it, girl. It is great. Girl, boy, whatever. Whatever you want. Just gonna dot these all over my face. Even if it's not the right color, you want to make believe that it's the right color. You want people to think that you're actually tan when you're not. So you just drag it down to your neck. Okay. Perfect. Now we are going to add some highlight and concealer. And I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It looks just like this. And it is in the shade Light Medium. I don't know if you could see that, but whatever. This is my favorite shade ever. So now I like to use, like, triangles underneath my eyes like this. I'm going to do it on the other side. Now, a little bit of this product goes a long way. Like, I probably shouldn't even use this much, but I like to be one highlighted person. So I'm just going to, you know, do me. You do you. I do me. So now we're going to pounce and blend this. Blend it all out. Usually, you know, when I have clients, I'm like so gentle when I do this part. Cause you have to treat them like a delicate little flower. You know, but when it's my best friends or something like that, I'm just like, come here. I got to get in those creases. And now we're going to set the face. So I'm also going to use, I'm going to pick back up the RCMA powder, the no color powder that we used before to set our eyelids. And I have already a little bit some down here from the last time. And we are going to bake our under eyes. So I'm going to use a damp beauty blender, the same one that I applied all of this, my foundation with. And I'm going to. I'm going to set the rest of my face with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Golden, which looks like this. And it says that on it. This stuff is bomb. So, with my brush. And I'm going to use literally my favorite brush ever. Look how big this is is the Morphe E2 brush, and it's literally so poofy and just so nice. Look at it. 
So I'm going to put that all over my face. Well, in the areas that I don't have highlight, so. Now that I've set my whole face, I'm going to wipe away the extra bake that I have underneath my eyes. And I can just use the same E2 brush just to kind of wipe away any of the excess that I have laying around anywhere from the color before. And now I'm going to go in with literally my favorite thing out of this whole entire process. Which is screw the eyebrows. Screw the highlight and the contour. Screw the eyeshadow. It's bronzer. All my clients know too, if you don't like being a bronze bit, don't come to me. Because I'm going to make you bronzed. I mean, unless, okay, if you really said you didn't want to be bronzed, then obviously I'm not going to bronze you, but who doesn't like being bronzed? Or who doesn't like being tan when you're not tan? It's the best thing ever. So, I'm going to use Hula by Benefit, which is literally like one of the most universal bronzers that you can find. A lot of people use it, but they also have it in Hula Light, which is like a shade lighter, more like gray undertones for people that have a lot lighter skin. I'm going to use the Morphe 5. 30 brush which looks like this and it's kind of like an airbrush brush and um i'm going to use this to contour my forehead and kind of come in around in my cheekbones and go down and stuff and i will show you how to do that so sponges here you can get these from anywhere and I'm gonna dab it into my no color powder by RCMA and I'm gonna create a chiseled contour here. go ahead now I'm gonna take the color twerk and I'm going to put this all on the bottom go back in with Hunt again. Just be really smoked out. And then with the same brush again, the E36, I'm going to get Pool Party and pop that right in the center. And that is the under eye. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the other under eye. Now I'm going to wipe off my bake. And I'm using the same big fluffy brush from before. And now, last but not least, is the highlight, which is the best part of this whole entire thing. Oh, so a little secret that I do, or that I use, on all my clients and me if I want a very, like, awesome highlight, is I use the Morphe... 35F palette, which is the Fall into Frost palette, and I use these top shades right here as my highlighting shades because they're so pigmented, it's going to come out so nice. So I'm going to use this shade right here and this one in the palette, and I'm going to go back and forth and make sure that I tap off some of the excess, and now I'm going to go in with this highlight. <laughs> but please, just can we... Can you see it? Can you see the ish? And then I'm going to add some of this with my finger. I can use some of this with this color, this shade right here. And I'm going to just pop a little bit right here on my eyebrow line. So you have that like everything's highlighted right here. I'm going to do that over here too as well. And just voila. And now for the inner corner highlight of my eye. In the palette 9 artist shadow palette. And it has these colors in it. Looks just like this. I use this color right here. For this look especially. To go in the inner corners of my eyes. And it looks so nice. Because it just makes it pop so much more. And the brush that I use for the inner corner, inner corner highlight in my eyes are. This is the Morphe M169 brush. I'm going to pop some of that right here. And now I'm going to pop that in my inner corner. And it's just so nice. Now the last 
thing to do, obviously, is to put lipstick on. And my favorite lipstick in the whole entire world, I don't even have to look at it, is Viva Glam 2 by MAC. And now, to complete this whole entire look, is going to be, of course, setting the face. How could you forget that? So, in the setting spray that I use is Fix Plus by MAC. So, I'm just going to spritz this over my face. You ready? Okay. And close your eyes. And you what's up? You just keep spraying. Don't stop. Just kidding. So, and just let yourself dry. So this is the finished look and James Charles calls this like, I don't know, like a sunset, beachy sunset look because it goes from the blues to the orange to the yellow. So it's really nice and I love it. It did take, I mean I did have to practice this, but once I practiced it was perfect and it's literally so nice. I love this look so much. And if you guys like more videos like this, if you guys want more tutorials, please like my channel and subscribe to it as well. That'd be great. This is my first time doing something like this, so obviously it's like really like nerve-wracking and I was nervous, so I probably rambled a lot, but it's my first video and I will get there. I'm just a little makeup artist in Tampa, Florida, and I do weddings, I do proms, I do whatever. If you want a night out at the club, girl, holla. What's up? Whatever you want. I come to you. You can come to me. I have a nice little setup in my house. It's super cute. But let me know if you guys like this and what you guys want to see next. Maybe my next tutorial will be me doing makeup on someone else, like kind of how I am in my like natural element and like how I do makeup on someone else. Or if you guys want different looks, you guys can send them to me, DM me, whatever you guys want to see, and then I can do that for you as well. So give this a thumbs up please and subscribe to my channel, please. Thank you. Bye guys.